What we did up here today, amen, is about our seed living, leaving a legacy, living a life before them that they will become the same. If I plant fescue seeds, I don't want Bermuda growing up. If I plant an acorn tree, I want an acorn tree. Oh, y'all don't hear me. So you want the same things, amen, to come up. That our seed will live also. We, this generation is, this generation is going to hell in a handbasket. I've never seen so much false religion and belief. Folks believing in trees now. They're worshiping trees and worshiping all kinds of craziness and got all kinds of ideologies about how to get to heaven. I mean, there's many ways to get to heaven. Yep. Yep, you sure right about that one in your mind. Many ways to die. That's a true statement, but you might not make it to heaven. We must come in at the door. We must come in through Jesus Christ. There's only one way. Now, if there's another way, you, you keep on doing what you're doing. I'm going to keep on doing what the words they're doing. But what happens when it becomes now not the norm? Look at society today. Society has so many things out there, man, that's just so confusing. You got these motivational speakers who ain't even, don't know nothing about the Holy Ghost. They say good words, but when it comes down to actually putting some substance in you to give some hope in you, it's not there. They have great experiences. Don't get me wrong. Now, we read books and how-to and all the rest of that. Your experience helped me. But that doesn't take the place of my trust in God. That's why he called pastors so we can help lead and guide, direct, amen, feed you with knowledge, understanding, be there with you. We may not always understand everything. We may not have been through what you've been through, but I tell you one thing we've been through, we haven't been through a whole lot of neology. And we know how to go to God in prayer because, again, we don't take this thing lightly. But you have to choose he said, choose life, that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life and thy strength, thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and to Jacob, to give him to you. God is not a liar. What he has promised us, he will bring to pass. We just have to go through the process. Amen. I tell you, I'll leave that alone. Joshua got to the end of his journey with the people. He was Moses' successor to bring them across. The Jordan into the promised land that God had promised them. God had told Joshua that you got to be very courageous, strong. Don't, don't lean to the left or the right, but do according to all the words that is written in this law. He said then you will have good success. Joshua seen Moses, was there with Moses, and went through everything with Moses and saw the example and now he's given the charge to take the people of God to the next level. And going through the book of Joshua, God was weaning out folks. And he got down to the end. And as he rehearsed to the people of God, what God had said to him concerning sin and other gods and his laws and obeying him and living for him. All these things they should have gained an experience as he brought back to remembrance what God had promised his, their forefathers, what God had did by bringing them out of Egypt and through the Red Sea, and now to this point, amen, of crossing the Jordan. He said that you ought to choose you this day whom you will serve. People of God, let me share this with you, that you are an individual, 
and your decision is based upon you. Amen. It is personal. It is your decision. Don't make decisions based on somebody else. Make your decision based on the word of God and the spirit of God. If we want to live, if we want to be in health, amen, if we want to prosper, amen, if we want to be positive and, and profit and all the rest of the other stuff that God has promised us and grow, then we must acknowledge him. And trust the leading of his spirit. Trust the leading of his word. Trust him to lead us. We have all the cloud of witnesses before us. And he's calling us to trust him. Holy. Choose this day whom you will serve. Make up your mind who you're going to serve. God wants you to eat spiritual food, but then your flesh leads you to eat. Go to Burger King. Mm-hmm. I've been there. I've been in that trap. I couldn't wait. I said, okay, God, I'm going I'm to a, I'm a fast just five minutes more. No, it only takes me five minutes to go to Burger King and get me a cheeseburger. I love their cheeseburgers. But what are we being led by if, we wanna, if we're expecting to grow? Listen to the word. He said those that take heed to the word. You got to take heed to the word. Joshua was saying, look here, I don't care what y'all do, but ask for me in my house. Do I have somebody in here today and out there today that would say, ask for me in my house? <laughs> See, I want to grow. I want to mature. I want to do the work of the Lord. I want God to be proud and accept me. So ask for me and my house. See, I can't let my right hand cause my left hand to sin. Otherwise, I got, them, I got to cut it off. I can't let one of my eyes cause the other eyes to sin unless I got to pluck it out now. But ask for me and my house. You have to make a decision for you. And what you going to do? Not my wife. My wife is very bold. Y'all know that. She is very bold. Hey? And she know when I look at her or whatever, she know the deal. Because she got to do what she got to do and I got to do what I got to do. I can't be influenced sometimes by your emotions or what God has you doing. Like I told y'all, what God has called us to do here is first and foremost, what God allow us to do as far as outreach and supporting and everything else is secondary. So therefore, we won't be doing all the things that God has us doing something else because, again, God is trying to mature us. He's trying to grow us. And sometimes in your relationship, some things you got to cut other folks off for a season <laughs> while you're in your growing process, while you're in the incubator. Sometimes you got to do that in order for you to get everything that you need. Settle down. You can't go and do everything. Sometimes you got to get in your quiet space, spend some time with God, and begin to read and pray and listen to the voice of God as he speaks to you. This is how you learn him. Because if you don't do that, then God does other things. God brings these trials on us. Uh-oh. And he allow us to go through this trial so we can call on him. Oh, I've been there. 